Okay, in this problem, we have an elevator. Let's make that bigger. And in this elevator is a person. And this person is standing on a scale. Uh, the problem consists of this elevator having an initial velocity going down and that initial velocity is 5 meters per second. Now I know that's actually really fast for an elevator but let's say for example that it's out of control. Now there is an emergency stop button and the person inside uh, hits this emergency stop button. Uh, let's change something just for a second here. This is a little bit too big. Okay, and the elevator comes to a stop, so the final velocity of the elevator is zero, and the elevator comes to stop in a time of one second. Okay, the question is, for that one second, what is the apparent weight of this person. Now the person regularly the mass of the person is 71 kilos. Okay, so what's the apparent weight of the person during this one second? Okay. So this is actually uh, two questions hidden in one. Uh, in order to find the apparent weight of the person, what we need to realize is let's, let's draw the free body diagram of the person. So here's the person. And the vectors on this person, of course, we have gravity going down. Uh, and if we ask ourselves, what's touching this person? Well, the scale is, and the scale is exerting a force up on the person. And that force we will call the normal force. And what's really important to realize here is that the apparent weight is what the scale here, what, the, what this scale reads is the normal force. So the apparent weight is equal to the normal force. That is an important point to realize. Okay? Because the scale is going to read Fn. So now that we know that, we know that we're looking for Fn. So we have to say, okay, Fn equals what? Well, in order to get that, we're going to have to do some dynamics, a free body diagram, which we've already done. Uh, but there's one piece of the puzzle which we're missing, which we're going to have to come back to. So let's, let's continue with the uh, dynamics part of it. So we can say, all right, listen, the summation of this, the forces of this person is equal to F net. Okay? Well, how many forces are there? Well, there's two of them. Now, we have to decide on a positive direction, and I'm going to pick positive as being up. And so, therefore, my equation will be positive Fn minus Mg is equal to F net. And from second law, we know that F net equals Ma, right? That's this famous second law of classical mechanics. So I can replace F net with Ma here. Now, if I want to find Fn, I can just simply say it's equal to Ma plus Mg, and I can factor out the uh, M and I can go A plus G. Uh, and now I'm, I'm almost done because, of course, I know M. That's 71. That was given in the problem up here, right? Uh, and I also know G. That's 9.8. But, uh-oh, I don't know what A is. But there is enough information in this problem to find A. And so let's tr see what we can do here. We've got initial velocity, final velocity, and time. So let's go back to the definition of acceleration. That's 
delta v over delta t and of course you know that's final velocity minus initial velocity and let's just use t for time our final velocity is zero meters per second coming to a stop and our initial velocity was uh, five but it was five meters per second going down so therefore our initial velocity is negative five and we divide that by uh, one second and we get an answer of positive five meters per second squared okay so that's the acceleration now that we have that we can plug that into here okay so our normal force is going to be now we can put in uh, our values uh, 71 kilos times 5 meters per second squared plus 9.8 meters per second squared now if you'll notice you know 9.8 is pretty darn close to 10 so if you consider this as being just you know 1 G and 5 is basically half of 10 so that's you know pretty much like half a G well if you go 1 G plus a half a G you get to approximately one and a half G's okay and if we work this out with our calculator we end up getting uh, 5 enter 9.8 plus 71 times we get an answer of 1050 newtons and I just want to check that make sure I did that right yeah okay so I did that uh, but how does that compare okay that that is the apparent weight but how does that compare to the person's normal weight okay and of course it's kind of easy to figure that out from here because the person's normal weight is just going to be mg which is just going to be 71 times 9.8 so that would simply be 695 or uh, almost 700 okay so normal weight is going to be about 695 newtons so in effect you know um, the person weighs you know uh, 1.5 times more than what they would regularly weigh so that's the end of this problem hope you enjoyed it